And then I also got Yatsubato. Nope. I don't know why I keep saying Yatsubato. I did a ding. Welcome back to my channel, The Awkward Book Nerd. For this video, I'm going to be doing my winter haul for you all. I have a lot of books that I accumulated over November and December of last year. And so I wanted to show you what I got. I think I'm going to split this up into two parts though because I have a lot of books here and I don't want this video to be super duper long but we'll see how it goes as I film so I'm just gonna dive right in and just start talking about these books first book I have is when the stars lead to you by Ronnie Davis this was my November pick for the book of the month YA box you may have seen me like talk about this in my November unboxing but I just wanted to put it in my haul because why not Next I have Heartstrings and Other Breakable Things by Jacqueline Firkins and this was also my December pick for the YA Book of the Month uh, box and um, I didn't really know much about this I just knew it was a contemporary so and I wasn't really intrigued by the other books that they had for the month so I decided to just go with this one. It's like a, a Mansfield Park retelling which I think is like a I can't remember if that's a Jane Austen book or a Shakespeare book, but it's a retelling of one of those stories, so intrigued. The next book I got was Sarah Normal, uh, number one, Ghost Town by Phoebe Rivers. Uh, I've been trying to get more into middle grade lately, and this series kind of popped into my mind. I love series about like, uh, ghost whispers and like girl like people who can see ghosts like I love I it freaks me out but at the same time I love those stories so this one really intrigued me and I really wanted to check it out plus it's kind of short so I was like why not so eventually I would like to read this at some point this year so yeah within this all I also have some manga that I got from writestuffanime.com uh it's become my new obsession because they have really good deals sometimes on just manga and then also on anime. Like I've gotten some really, really nice deals on some of my favorite animes. I managed to get the first two seasons of Haikyuu for $7 each and I managed to get another series that I loved for $12. So like they have some pretty good deals when it that time of the year especially with manga as well so I have a couple here that I'm gonna show you and like I have some more later on in this haul that I'll show you but the first one is waiting for spring volume 2 um, I have the first volume I haven't read it yet but I decided to get the second volume too just in case I had a feeling I was gonna love this because I feel like I've read this uh, series before like not completely all the way through but I feel like I started it at some point too and I liked it so definitely want to accumulate more of the books. The next one I got was The Water Dragon's Bride Volume 2 as well. I think when I bought both of these they had a sale going on so I was like why not just get the second two volumes in the series that I have. I also still love these covers. It's so beautiful so exciting. Yatsuba Volume 1. I love this series so much. It's super cute, super slice of life. If you love just like series that aren't too serious but bring you joy, like this is something I do recommend. Uh, it's one of my favorites and it brings me joy whenever I read them because it's just like, I don't know, so like slow paced but like in a good way if that makes sense where you're just kind of like following along in the story and you just want good things to happen to the characters. So definitely love this one. Right. The next book that I grabbed was I Wish You All the West by Mason Deaver. I read this in December so I've already read the game of five out of five stars I believe but I picked this up for a readathon I was doing and I ended up failing that readathon but I'm glad I still picked this up because I was in the mood to read it anyways. Next book I grabbed was Unite Me by Tahara Mafi which is the uh, Shatter Me novellas. It's the first two novellas wrapped in one book and um, I grabbed this because I wanted to read this before I started Unite Me and all that jazz, so hello. The next book I grabbed was probably presumptuous of me to like grab it, especially because I didn't get the second one. <laughs> but 
let me just show you, and then I'll explain my thought process. So the, set, the next book I grabbed was Dark Dawn by J. Kristoff. So I bought, I have Nevernight. I was given Nevernight as a gift. I don't have the second one, but I bought Dark Dawn. And my reasoning is because my store, my Barnes & Noble, had uh, first signed editions. And I was like, when am I going to get a first signed edition ever again? And what if they run out? Before? Like, I don't know when I'm going to be able to read Nevernight. So when are they? Like, what if they run out of these copies? And then I just, I don't have the chance to get this again. So I grabbed it. Again, I don't know where, like, why my brain had all of this process, but it did, and so I bought it. <laughs> don't have the second one, but I have the third one. <laughs> also, I'm like, my first, like, Nevernight copies in paperback, and this one was hardcover, so it might annoy me a little bit, but at this point, I don't care. Um, it's cool. I like that it's a first edition, um, and here, I can show you where he signed it. I don't know if you can see that, but right there in pen, so I did a ding. Alright, the next book I grabbed was Children of Virtue and Vengeance by Tomi Addy Emmy. I made sure that I grabbed this the day that it came out at my store, partially because I was there and I was already shelving, so I just grabbed a copy and made sure to buy it before I left, but also because I really, really wanted this copy because it's so beautiful. I love the blue. Like, I love how the first book was red and this one's like this bluish color. It's super pretty. But, uh, I enjoyed children of blood and bone and so i'm intrigued to see what happens in this one i'm a little nervous because again it's kind of short like not that a good book like a good story can't happen in a short book but compared to the first one it was really big so i'm a little nervous um i'm also still nervous because just like the ending of the first one was just crazy so i don't know what it's gonna happen in this one I don't even know what I want to happen like usually if I'm in a in like a series or a trilogy or whatever I know what I want to happen throughout the rest of the books this series trilogy I don't know what I want to happen honestly I kind of just I think I'm I'm in a point where I'm just gonna like take a back seat and kind of just see where the story goes and then if I end up liking it I like it but if I don't then I don't um but I don't have any like strong emotions on what I think should happen because I just don't know <laughs> which I don't know if this has ever happened to me before so I, I guess we'll see and I'll let you know if I like it or not whenever I can get a chance to pick it up. Alright, the next book I grabbed was To Kill a Kingdom by Alexandra Cristo. I grabbed this for the same readathon that I did uh, I Wish You All the Best for and I failed that readathon. I got like a couple pages into this and it was interesting. I didn't think I would like this honestly. I only grabbed it because it was supposed to be for a buddy read. But so far what I've read, I didn't mind it, so maybe I'll pick it up again at some point this year. But for right now, it's just gonna sit for a minute until I decide if I want to read it again or not. Alright, so continuing on, um, the next three books that I got were also from Right Stuff Anime, and they were the first three volumes of Love in Focus by... Okay, who is this by... Oh, Yoko Nogiri. I what again, I loved these covers. Like these covers were so pretty. The artwork seemed pretty. But also the story was intriguing. I haven't read the first one yet. <laughs> but the other two were on sale, so I was like, why not just get them now while they're in a bundle and then read them? And I think I'm gonna like this, honestly. I'm not very like I am picky with manga, but I'm not like if I know I'm gonna like something, I typically it's rare for me to not like it, so I figured I would. I definitely think I'm gonna like this one, um, especially because she has the hobby of photography and there's a childhood friend, and then there's a guy. So I was like, okay, we're gonna like this. And the next one <laughs> is also from Right Stuff Anime, and it's a bundle that I bought because it was only nine dollars. <laughs> I got the uh, five volumes of Missile Happy. I've already read this, so. I didn't just like spend unnecessary money. Um, I've already read the series and I loved it. And so I saw that it was $9 for all five volumes in the entire series. So I grabbed it because I was like, why not? It's a cute little story about this girl who kind of gets wrapped up in her sister's arranged marriage. Like her sister's, her sister is getting like supposed to be arranged to be married and then her sister runs away <laughs> and uh, gets married and kind of leaves her in charge of like basically dissolving the arrangement and i forget all the details but somehow she ends up accidentally living with the guy and it's just 
shenanigans from there but I thought it was super cute so I was like yes I'll totally grab this and I definitely I'm trying to like accumulate a good like manga collection of series that I know I love so like this is a good start so that's all I have for this haul um stay tuned for my part two coming soon <laughs> And if you like the video, please like it down below if you have any comments on any of the books I showed you. Um, if you liked any of these, if you've read them, and if you like them, please let me know. If you've read them and you haven't liked them, also please let me know. I like getting, I like hearing the positive and the negatives about certain books just to help to set me decide if they're like something I want to invest in. If you're not good at commenting, I'm going to say go ahead and leave me an emoji down below. I'm stealing the idea from my friend Sylvia from Wish Fulfillment. And if you want to keep seeing more videos from me, please subscribe down below. And if you want to follow me on any of my social medias, they're all linked down below. I have Twitter. That's the one I'm most interactive on, so definitely follow me there. And if you want to get notified for when I upload more videos, please hit that bell button down below. You are all sunflowers in a world full of weeds.